Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro and today I'll be showing you how to install plugins on your server. Firstly, we're going to be downloading a plugin. Once you find a plugin that you like, just make sure it's compatible with the version that you want your server to be. Since I'll be setting my server to the most recent version, this plugin is compatible as it has the Minecraft version shown here. This means I'm free to press download now. That should instantly download the plugin file. Once that's done, we recommend dragging the plugin file to your desktop so it's easier to follow the next few steps. Now, to be able to install plugins on your server, you need to have a server. If you don't have one, make sure to get one or purchase one, but if you already have one, then you can proceed into the server's control panel. Make sure that your server is set to Spigot or Paper and the latest version. We recommend using Paper as it's more optimised for your game, meaning it's better for performance and provides other benefits such as timing reports. Before proceeding, make sure your server is offline. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install plugins both manually and automatically. Firstly, we'll be doing it manually. The manual method works on all plans we have, including the VPS plan. The VPS plan doesn't have its own designated plugins tab, so if you're using a VPS, make sure to follow this method. First things off, you just need to head into your file section, then open up the plugins folder. That's where you're going to drag in the plugin file you downloaded earlier. To ensure everything is working as intended, you'll have to turn on your server and wait till it's booted up. You can make sure the plugin is installed correctly by heading to the console tab. You'll know everything is in working order if you see the plugin name and then successfully enabled. If for some reason it doesn't show up saying successfully enabled or the server doesn't boot up at all, it may mean that the plugin requires a dependency so make sure you have that in the plugins folder as well. If that doesn't solve the problem, you may have also downloaded a different version plugin to the version on your server. To fix that, either change the version on your server or download the plugin as the same version as your server. Now let's move on to showing how to do it automatically. To automatically install plugins, you'll need a server on the classic plan. Then what you have to do is head into the plugins tab on the left of your dashboard. There are two drop down sections there, browse and installed. For now, we just need to look at browse. As you can see, on the browse section is where you can simply press a button to install plugins. At the top, you can also type in the plugin name you desire. After pressing enter, you'll be able to just press install latest on the plugin you want on your server. You'll know the plugins installed when this pop-up message shows up. Alternatively, you can also click on the Installed tab. There you'll be able to see the plugins enabled on your server. Remember, after installing any plugin manually or automatically, you should restart your server. Then once more, go to the Console tab and if you see it says it's been successfully enabled, you'll follow the steps correctly. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any more questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more from my channel. Thank you for watching.